So here we are, we jump back inside the Unreal Engine. So let's start off, I'm gonna create a new level, an empty level. I'm not saving this, cause this was just something that I was doing prior. All right, so here we are, we got an empty level. I'm gonna go down, ultra dynamic sky, go on blueprints, pull that out. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that sky is. Come on now, look at that. Let's create a landscape real quick, throw material on it. <clears throat> I'm also, I'm gonna use this material, this uh, jagged rock material from my Megascan surface, because later on I'm gonna show you how to add a depth map to your surfaces <clears throat> and to be able to get the best uh, images with the uh, interaction with the weather. So I'm gonna throw this, this surface on here for this material. We're gonna create a landscape. Now it's time to get to work, let's go. Go back to selection mode. Now here we are, open up my drawer. Uh, let me scroll up here, grab my uh, my, uh, my skeletal, my, my mesh, my character. What's wrong with me right now? All right, so we drag homeboy in here. And as you can see, we got him in here. He's, you know, he's no animations, no nothing. This is just a tutorial. I, <clears throat> I really just want you guys to get an understanding of how this um, works. So inside of Ultra Dynamic Sky, I gotta go back in, I'm gonna go into blueprints. Now I'm gonna drag in the weather. So by default, it's gonna be rainy. It's gonna be the first uh, thing you're gonna see when you come in. Let's grab a light real quick so you can see how this is or isn't affecting um, our character here. <clears throat> Give me a second, let me get this light over here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but here we go, let me get it. All right, so let's go and bring it in a little bit. Down, slide, let's get a little bit close. There we go. So the reflections, they're looking pretty good here. Line it up. And uh, yeah, here we go. So as you can see right now, as you can see right now, it's raining, but the raindrops, they look nice on the environment, but they're not affecting any surface and in real life, when rain hits something, it becomes wet. Obviously snow, it accumulates, dust, all of that. So what, oh, the beauty of this plugin is we will be able to affect this ground surface. As you can see, it's flat for one and it doesn't reflect any characteristics of interacting with rain or weather and his skin. So this, this, this plugin allows us to make all of that possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on a material come in the hierarchy and then go to the parent material. Now, boom, this is where it all takes place. I like to drop my node in anywhere right before the final node or your output where you can see roughness, uh, base color, and normal. You're gonna go in, you're gonna type in a snow into your, you're gonna right click, type snow, pull out the snow and dust effects. Hold control, disconnect the base, connect it over, <clears throat> disconnect and reconnect roughness, then disconnect and reconnect your normal. Next, what you'll do is you're gonna right click. Let me move this over, make some space. You're gonna right click and then look for a wet weather effect. Pull that in. Now just connect, connect all your aligning things. So you got what, base color, then your roughness, then your normal. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the output side back to your output node, your final node. So we've got what our base color, our roughness, and our normal. Connect those things. And then we're gonna come back to our mass, we're gonna come back to our wet weather. We're gonna pull down from the applied puddles and apply drip effects. Type in B-O-O-L for a static bowl. And then make sure you click on true for the value. Next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna bring down a, a, a constant. Yeah, click true. Now you're gonna bring down a constant. Hold the number one, left click, make your value one, and then connect this to mask wetness. Connect that there. Now hit compile, apply. Sorry, connect that, then hit apply. From here, we're just gonna click apply and then go back out into our uh, scene. We'll bring this down, save it just in case it crashes, you know how this thing goes. So now, now let's look at how the weather is affecting our character and the materials. Oh, that looks dope. That looks so sick. You see how he's glistening and shining? 
<laughs> what, what Martin say, you went down in the water and you come up, and the water used to glisten all over your body. Yeah, he, he glistening right now from the rain hitting him. And this, this, this effect is so cool because now that you've applied this to your material, you put this on any master material, and it's gonna affect everything connected to it. Even foliage, like my, the plants, they're gonna accumulate. So now let's go in and see how other forms of weather are gonna affect the material. Also, look at how quick you can change your environment using just the sky features. Like with, with the weather, it changes the sky features. And then I'll do another tutorial on dynamic sky itself about how you can move the sun, the, the, the moon, the, the rays, everything. Here's the rain again, we've seen the rain. Let's go down and check out sand. Oh man, that looks so cool. That looks so dope. Imagine you're doing like a little war scene or you're doing something in the, in the desert or off planet and change the dust color up. But here it is, the dust is accumulating on the surface of the character, as well as any assets that you might throw in the scene, a car, a box, a building, whatever. It does the exact same thing on any surface. This thing is so sick. Let me see, let's, let's, let me see. Go back to weather, let's check snow out. Oh man, that's so dope. Yo, this is killing it, yeah. You gotta add this to your toolbox, man. If you wanna add weather and then actually have the actual effects of weather playing on, you know, the environment. And this is light snow, so it's it's subtle. Yeah, this is so cool. You gotta have this, I promise you. I, I love this tool, this is so wild. So yeah, we're gonna go back, clear it up. Nice, clear day. Nice, clear day, you know. As you can see, man, it goes back to normal. It matches the environment. That's it for the uh, characters and the materials. So really quick, uh, I just wanna show you guys something. I wanna go over displacement maps. So for your surface areas and your wall textures and things of that nature. So you know, they typically come flat. This will give them more detail. Um, so just check this out real quick. I'm gonna do a full tutorial on creating displacement maps if you guys would like. Um, just leave a comment and, and I'll drop it. I'll also do a full tutorial on how to make the weather affect the surfaces and create puddles and accumulate the snow. The, uh, the wet weather effect is one thing, but there is another one called the dynamic landscape effect. Um, that note is a bit different. It's very similar, but very different. And then you can change the, the landscapes and see how these uh, look full and lush. <clears throat> There's also a way to make your players run through the uh, weather and their feet will interact with everything. I'll do a tutorial on that as well. I just got the hang of it. I still don't know how to add it to my characters for sequences, but once I get that figured out, I'll share it all in one video. Um, but yeah, man. <clears throat> Give me one second. I just want to show you the difference and compare the texture. So this is a displacement map that I already created and I'm throwing a texture on it. And just take a second to see the difference between the displaced map opposed to just putting a material on top of a landscape. It's a little difficult to see it, <clears throat> to see the difference between the two with the snow on here. So give me a second, let me go over here to dynamic weather and pull up some rain. Well, you can, as a matter of fact, let's do the sand. With the sand, you can see, wait, let me bring a light in here so you can really kind of see things better. And pull this over. Get this in place. <clears throat> I like that angle. Let me bring it up though. Low is good, you can see the shadows, but I'm gonna just bring it up high just to give it just so you can really see everything. You can even see on the outline how the texture has shape. You know, it's not just flat. You can look around the edge right there, you'll see. But, um, let me see. Bring in there. Let's uh, just get this better in focus. Let me use my, see if we can just track that, keep the camera on there, change the, uh, let me clear it up some. Let's change the weather to give it a better, there you go. Now, that looks beautiful. 
that's not just a flat surface, the reflections, look at the wetness, the rain, <clears throat> the contact with the splashes. Obviously, this is a preview. Obviously, this is just a preview, but look at the difference in detail. Like that flat image looks nice and it gives the illusion of having detail, but when you bring the camera in, you can see <clears throat> that it's flat and it looks nice. But when you compare it to this, utilizing a displacement map, there is no comparison. So yeah, I'll drop a tutorial on this shortly. Um, so hopefully you guys like something that I dropped or you found something uh, informative and useful. Stay tuned, I'll be doing more videos. Uh, thanks for watching.